yeah in today's session we are going to cover this point can you see under the object oriented principles we have seen just a minute yeah so we have we have completed all these things a few predefined objects so we already have worked with the string right creating string common properties of the string yes or no all these methods care at substring index of uppercase lowercase like that now this is a little important date manipulation so day 56 a new folder day 56 and here we are going to talk about date manipulation date manipulation okay so let me create app 01.js okay and there is one object internally dt is equals to new date console.log dt you can see here we created a new object cd dot dot cd day 56 and node app 01.js can you see it is printing the date if you can see here it is absolutely printing the date and if you look at that date properly if you look at that date properly you will see that some date is written over there if you see some date is written over there can you see 2802 2024 then t something like this and 123949 49 and something like this 1239 and 49 something so 2802 2024 this T and 12, 39, 49, something like this. This is how date is represented. So here if you see, this is a T is a separator. It separates this date and this time. And this what time? 12, 39, 49 is the time. UTC time. T is the separator. This is very important. So the date format, if you if you look at the date format, this is called as ISO date format. Just I talked about this T and some time is representation of the date and time in the ISO 8601 format, commonly used in JavaScript and many other programming languages. Let's break down each part of the string. This is the date. T stands for the time and serves as the separator between the date and time components. This much is the time and z represents the zulu time zone right so how do you create the date object you can create date object like this const dt let's have dt1 over here sorry dt1 dt1 dt2 is equals to new date well you can write something like this also 2020 0101 and if you can say console.log dt2 dt2 dt i'm sorry dt1 
can you see here you can see 0 1 0 1 and rest of the things are assigned to 0 right now I want to access the particular components of this state not a big deal so here we can say const str and here we can say I want to access year and here we can say dt one dot now if you can see get full year get month here dt one dot get full year you can get year then month and then get month remember that month starts from month starts from zero and day we can say day get day now console this str console dot log str and see what happens year 2024 month one day three Hello. Hello. Am I clear? So from where this value is going to take like where is going to value like where is going to be DT1. Can you see this DT1? No, but DT1 we can see like put one year, right? So this will print the current date. Mm -hmm. If you don't specify anything like this, it will print what? Current date. Currently DT1 is having the current date value. Correct. Right? So, so, so this this is like the constant str. Uh -huh. so which value should they get like year should be 2024 right so okay we could have 2024 yeah year 20 should be like two in that so why we are getting one yeah that's it's what starting. no that's why i said month start from zero okay okay, okay. month start from zero and day is that two days get day okay i'll talk about we'll talk about that day now so when you say day, instead of day, you, you can say date. And if you see here now, year 2024, month 012. Remember that month start from 0. So you need to add plus 1 always. Year 2024, month 2, day 28. Is it clear? Yes. Okay, so some basics operations about the date. How do you access the components? In the same fashion, you, we, you can access hours, minute, and the seconds also. Hours, minute, and the seconds. Let's do that thing. Hour dt one dot get hours. minute dot get a minutes seconds and dot get here you can say seconds can you see 18 16 51 this is a 24 hours clock and here you get something like this right so if you do 24 minus can you see now six minutes 17 and this thing we can change that here also there are many settings but some logic is this 
getting the components well you can set the components also you can set the components if you have done get date you can set also so here i can say here i can say dt2 dot set full year say 2030 and just console dot log dt2 here dt2 here and can you see 2030 that has been printed here we are setting the date right similarly you can set month date hours minutes seconds all that things right let's do that thing dt2 dot set month here you can say 12 dt2 dot set date 0 1 or simply 1 and now see this your voice is not clear okay dt2 yeah see here 2020 2031 right 12 we have set over here and 0 1 see what happened we have set the 12 date starts from 0 so make it 11 make it 11 can you see that is the expected one 20 30 11 and 0 1 correct month start from 0 remember that so 11 means what 12 so although we are writing 2030 if you write month as 12 automatically it's taking like 2031 correct if you so arithmetic is internally implemented can you see automatically 2032 arithmetic is automatically internally implemented getting my point hello yes. date even you can set dt2 dot set hours 12 dt2 dot set minutes 23 dt2 dot set seconds 45 and see now 12 this is 6 53 45 some calculation internally it has done 12 53 and something like this okay so you can set the data also now new file app 02.js date manipulation and now const dt new date and i want to add 10 days to the given date if this is the date remember that you need to give a format in this way only 2020-0101 if you give something like this 0101-2020 meaning of that is different ISO date you need to provide and this date calculations will only work on this format these date calculations will only work on this format okay now see d console dot log current date here i can say current date and here we can say dt 
वन टेन डेज और टेन डेज आफ्टर डी टी वन प्लस टेन लेट्स रन इट नोड एप जीरो टू डॉट यस कैन यू सी करंट डेट इज दिस एंड टेन डेज आफ्टर एंड यू आर गेटिंग समथिंग लाइक दिस टेन डेज आफ्टर एंड यू आर गेटिंग कैन यू सी टेन यू माइट ट्राई टू डू समथिंग लाइक दिस यू माइट ट्राई टू डू समथिंग लाइक दिस which will not work see how it has printed 10 days after 1st jan something like this and 10 this 10 has been printed this concatenate it happened you need to use a component over here dot get date plus 10 and see now can you see 10 days after so dt1 And ten would be eleven. Hello. Would be what eleven. So you just have, which means that this component gives you number of date. So you can do something like this: D T one, one, or you can create const D T. D T two is equals to new, new date. And D T one D T one dot set D T one dot set date and here we just need to do this thing. And console dot log d t two yeah can you see here so this is Wednesday first of Jan twenty twenty and if you if you see here ten days have been added to this date which is nothing but eleven zero one twenty twenty. Eleven zero one twenty twenty. Am I audible? Yeah. Any question? No. This is clear, right? Yeah. Okay, date arithmetics. Now you can check if you can calculate the age. Program is that calculate the age from given date. So here. const calc ag is equals to so this date is given and tell me the code tell me the code cal this is the given date and you need to complete the code over here the given date 
What's the age? How do you calculate that? Okay, so here I can say new date minus this dt. Let us see console.log calc age and here we can pass a date object new date 2020 01 01. Can you see you are getting something like this? You are getting a number. Remember that new date always always return the number. So this is also returning this. Can you tell me the code? What do you think? Hello. Homework. This is what? Homework. I will create new file. App03.js. This is the homework. So I have written some code given some hint homework calculate the age from given date okay hello okay. this is a homework you can search on the internet and do something Okay, now next thing, a date comparison. Let me create app04.js. So there are given two dates, dt1 is equals to new date and cons dt2 is equals to new date 2020. 0101 and if you print console.log dt1 is less than dt2 similarly dt1 is exactly equals to dt2 and dt1 is greater than dt2 node sorry Four. Can you see false? This is false. This is true. Sorry, this is also false. And this is true. So DT1 is greater than this date. DT1 is greater than this date. Right? Which means that equality or the comparison of the date is also straight. Right? Hello?
you got it or not hello yes okay now this is about what you can say a little bit about the dates so once you complete the homework a lot of things would be getting clear to you similarly we have something called lads math class generally i give it as a homework to study math class on your own but see there is a math object available internally in javascript you can do mathematical operations for example math dot pi right you will get this thing from here some value you will get also if you want to make a square console dot log math dot square root of you can say 4 is 2 right something related to this math dot if you want to generate the random numbers math dot random it will generate the random number can you see it will generate the random number let's do it for let i is equals to 0 i is less than 10 and i plus plus so we can generate 10 random numbers like this can you see 10 random numbers like this math dot power then here we can say 2 the exponent value of the expression 2 raised to 1 so here you can say sorry here if you can see the base value and the y is the exponent value console dot log and let's say square of 2 would be like this Two raised to two. Can you see square of two is four? All the things related to the math we can do over here, right? There are some cases here we can say where num is equals to ten upon zero. And let's run the project and console.log num. What is expected? Infinity. Can you see that? Answer is infinity. And if you go to the console.log math. Dot square root okay log value of e mathematical operations purely mathematical operations we can perform max min identifying max here you can give 1 67 0 23 and we need to find out the max number Oh, I got it. What's happening? So, just remove this and see 67 is the maximum. Now, if you want to achieve this, dot apply first would be null there won't be any yes 
So this is an interview type question. Actually, I ask in the interviews. So what is the question? Math dot max is not accepting an array, but I want to pass it an array. So technically, math dot max. This is the only function. Max. This is the only function. It doesn't accept an array. It doesn't accept an array. It accept multiple numbers. Can you see that? But what I wanted to do, I want to supply array to the max function. How this can be done? If you try to do it, if you try to do simply like this, you'll get an error. Can you see you are getting something called less nan, not a number because it doesn't accept array. It accepts simply numbers, multiple numbers out of that multiple numbers. It is going to identify which is the maximum. But how to do? How do I pass the array? So answer is apply method. Correct. Answer is what? apply method cleared Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So date manipulation, math class. Fine then. Actually, I wanted to start a new topic, but let's start fresh tomorrow. That is the exception handling, error handling, second last topic. Then we would be working with the asynchronous programming. Right? It will take a little time for the error handling. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.